Okay, hi guys and welcome to the show and today I'm going to talk a little bit about coffee. Uh, I've done a video on, on um, Bialetti um, stovetop coffee makers and making coffee at home and how you can make essentially better coffee than any Starbucks uh, for way less for cheaper in your own home. And I reviewed uh, the one of the little Bialetti, I think it was a three cup or a two cup, I can't remember. but. Um, and I made some coffee and, and I talked through the process and I wanted to do an update because I was recently given uh, this new Bialetti Venus um, from a loved one and uh, who I know is watching now so um, just a quick shout out uh, you know who you are uh, don't worry I'll, I'll keep your identity anonymous but um, uh, grazie mille per, per questo bellissima little Bialetti and um, in my opinion, it really is the best way to have coffee, um, you know, of the best way of brewing coffee at home. Um, it just, you can't, you can't get better taste, you can't get better, um, it's just quick, easy, and, and that's why I just adore it. And um, Bialetti itself is a really interesting company, founded by Alfonso Bialetti. Um, in 1933, he designed the very first uh, Bialetti uh, stovetop coffee maker, and it's become a kind of style icon ever since the 50s. And um, you'll find it hard to find an Italian kitchen without one of these in it. Um, so anyway, I'm really excited about this new one. This is the the four cup, and uh, this is available on Amazon. Uh, for $42.33 I think they're going for now. Uh, this is part of the new uh, Elegante series and there's a couple of different designs uh, as you see here there's the Kitty, the Mia, the Musa Satinata, Nuova Musa and then of course the, Mi the Venus. They've actually beautifully engraved the, the logo and this is called the uh, Il Uomo con il Baffi, the, the moustached man and he's actually raising his index finger near, he's, it's supposed to be you know he's calling over the, um, the um, barista, he's ordering his coffee and it's just become a really kind of iconic um, it's all, you know it's, it's like it's like the Rolex logo, or it's like the the Lamborghini logo. It's just become one of these iconic, or the Ferrari, the 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 the, the horse on the t on its hind legs. It's become one of those iconic, um, classic Italian um, design brands. And and on the bottom here, you've you've got very nicely detailed uh, the material, and then it shows just a pictorial representation of what this um, particular coffee maker is compatible with so you know the different sources of heat um, but anyway it's it's absolutely fantastic it's, it's the sa exactly the same premise as my previous one which I made a video of Got the filter there uh, the little little module where you pack your coffee in, and of course uh, the bottom part that you heat up and, and you put the, mute, the water in put the coffee in there screw it up Make sure it's nice and tight, and then put it on the stove at a kind of medium heat, and, and the, the evaporation will force the the, the water through the uh, through the filter, and then it will come out here, um, and then you have four cups. Now, when when they mean four cups, uh, quattro quattro tazze or four cups, uh, they're actually referring to espresso cups. So you know you can get either two normal sized cups of coffee out of this or four uh, little espresso cups which are this size so just you know to give you an idea of scale just if you're not used to uh, personally I prefer espresso it's just you know it's quick it's easy but um, I can you know I, I might make a, uh, an Americano or a cafe lungo and, and full size cup with with milk or whatever so just a little bit more details about the actual um, so it's got, of course, it includes the famous uh, the the little uh, safety valve here, um, which is you know one part of its iconic uh, patented design. Um, it's just it's such a, a more efficient 
way of, of achieving a higher quality coffee. So at the moment I've been using a French press um, uh, while I was waiting for this. And it, I must admit, it's not the best way of, 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 of making coffee. You certainly get much better uh, results with the Bialetti just because um, of the process. It uses pressure and heat to, to force through the water um, and it doesn't carry any of the granules with it. It's a very efficient way of doing it. Um, far more efficient than than the French press and way more, um, it's far superior to uh, the old school way of making coffee that, that um, you'll see in Greece and in, in, in Turkey a lot. I mean there's nothing wrong with the way they do coffee but theirs is very kind of thick and very kind of um, earthy and, and, and uh, you know the, there'll be a lot of like sediment at the, air, at the bottom of the coffee. And, but you know the, the process really is just half of it. To really get the best coffee, you must all also have uh, the best ground coffee that you, you, to put in it. Probably the, the, my favorite and, and what I recommend the best is um, this Lavazza Qualita Oro, uh, gold quality. Um, this is fairly expensive. This is about $25 on Amazon uh, for this uh, 250 gram or 8.8 .8 ounces um, I haven't actually opened this so um, I'm actually say I'm, I'm saving this for a special occasion or but this is extremely fine um, and as you see there it's a kind of medium roasting there more um, affordable would be the, the cafe, just the traditional cafe espresso but uh, in my opinion, what I have every day, and, and this really has just be become part of my everyday routine, is uh, Qualita Rossa. Uh, this just is my, my favorite. Um, again, a medium, medium roasting, but uh, this, is, this is really quite fine stuff. It's compatible with, with uh, you know, a stovetop uh, Bialetti like this one I have. Uh, you can use it in your French press if you still want to use French press, and in expensive machines. These are quite expensive in the store. I think they're, they're about, uh, th this is a 8.8 .8 ounce pack. They go for about 7, 8.99, 7.99 in, in, in the supermarket. But if you order a four pack like this from uh, Amazon, you can get this for about 15, 16 dollars and you save quite a bit. Now we'll open this. Now when you open it, you'll, you'll, you'll feel the air pressure. Anyway, there we go. Oh my god, that that smells so good. I wish you could have. I wish there was smell o vision on this. It smells amazing, absolutely amazing. I think it's one of the best smells uh, you can ever experience. Definitely. So there you go. There you can see the the how fine the coffee is. I mean, Lavazza really are on top of their processing, their, the way they process and and uh, roast and. Um, you know how they ground their coffee they're just they're second to none I mean just it always tastes the best to me and um, and it's just something I cannot do without so uh, another, another thing that um, I like to have my, with my coffee I don't always have it but um, I love Amaretti and these are actually from Trader Joe's or Trader Giotto <laughs> but Trader 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 Joe's anyway um, and these are these are gluten free so even though it's you know a ton of sugar in there I'll quickly show you one they're done, they're actually uh, made in Italy and they come in the traditional uh, Amaretti paper this is just how they did how they do in Italy and what I love about them is they've actually modernized it so they inside the traditional paper they still um, they still seal it so it, it keeps fresh um, these are very, these are traditional Italian cookies that you have with your coffee. Um, you know, just a little pick me up. I don't have these every day. I have these as a as a as a treat on a on a Sunday uh, after a, you know a big Sunday lunch or something. It's nice to have something sweet with your coffee. Anyway, guys, I'll leave it there. I'll do a follow up video and and let you guys know how this worked out. I suspect you know being Bialetti and. Uh, I, I suspect it will perform fantastically. I, I don't expect anything less. Uh, but actually, just even the look of it, it's a beautiful design. It reminds me a little bit of my 
you would have noticed my Art Deco um, Van Essen uh, German Art Deco coffee maker collection. <laughs> I know it's a bit of a weird thing to collect, but I just find them beautiful. And and this one is it is quite stunning, isn't it? I mean, I almost want don't want to use it, but um, anyway, guys, I'll leave it there. Thank you very very much for watching. Um, so you know, this is my recommendation for making good coffee at home. Um, doesn't have to cost a fortune, you know. Forty bucks for a little coffee maker uh, that will that will, you know, give you better coffee than any any of these Starbucks can make. Uh, then the actual ground coffee itself, you know, less than twenty bucks for for a pack of four. These also make great gifts. And then if you really want to go high class, well not high class, but if you want to pull out all the stops, maybe you've got friends over, pull out the quality qualita or oro and um, you know show it show them how it's done um, anyway guys oh and by the way these uh, these little these little espresso cups these are from the seller and Macy's paid I think they were ten dollars for a, a set of two just very plain simple espresso cups but uh, this is what you want uh, nothing pretentious uh, you know does the job so yeah guys let me know what you think, what's the best way you like your coffee, um, is there any particular roast or blends I should try. You know, this is my personal favourite way, uh, but I'm sure you guys um, must have your, your preferences too, so please let me know. Anyway, and like this video if you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you next time. Okay guys, thank you for watching, ciao.